Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing an unboxing of Globe In for December 2018. Globe In is a monthly subscription that sends you items from different artisans and they promote uh, giving these artisans fair wages. The box is, if you get the artisan box, $50 a month after shipping, but if you sign up for longer subscriptions, it's cheaper. And if you sign up with my link down below, you get $30 off your first box, which is more than 50%. So your first box would be around $20 if you sign up with my link down below, $30 off. So the cool thing about Globe Inn is that every month they come out with a new theme. If you decide that you don't like that theme, then you can choose one of the past themes. They'll give you a selection of themes that you can choose from, I think between the first and the 10th. Or if you don't like anything, you can just use however much you spent on that. So if you spent $50 or if you have a six month subscription and maybe paid less, you can use that money as add-on credit and just choose stuff. They have add-ons so you can just pick what you want yourself. Um, this month, I did not like the December theme, which is why I'm calling it a Globin haul for December 2018 because it's not their like theme of the month. I picked the chef theme and then I signed up using a Black Friday um, code and got an extra special bundle which should be in here which is why the box is so huge this month so without further ado let's go ahead and get inside now if you are interested in signing up and you do want to use my link or if you don't want to use my link doesn't matter um i would recommend signing up now because the 10th is the last day that you can customize your box if you sign up i think between the 10th and the 15th or the 10th and something then they pick the theme automatically for you and then the other ones i think you automatically get pushed to the next month so if you're interested in january's theme because it is january now which is a brew um it is a really cool theme you can see all the spoilers if you want to um then go ahead and sign up so let's go ahead and open this massive box so when i'm opening it up i am seeing two globe in boxes and this is what they normally ship in and then there we go so it's just an order saying that the, i was getting the chef box as well as the mystery box so it's a good thing i kept my scissors by me i'm guessing this is the chef box i don't know we'll see um the chef box i used to be subscribed to them a way while back and unsubscribed but i really wanted this box way back then and so i'm glad that they have it as an offering now so let's see is this it yes so this is the chef box we'll do this one first and then we'll see the mystery stuff so this is the chef box every month they send you a little pamphlet inside it shows you everything that you're getting and then it goes through and talks about each of the artisans who made it and where so it'll talk about the individual people who make them which i think is a really cool touch and again they promote um people getting fair wages which is awesome so pulling this out first everything is wrapped really really well which is also why you need scissors. Oh no. Oh no. So this cracked. So I'm going to have to reach out to customer service. But it is this beautiful bowl that is completely cracked, so I don't really want to open the paper to show you, but I will have to reach out to them and have them send me um, a replacement for that bowl. Let me find, see if I can find a um, picture in here. So this is what the bowl looks like. So I'll have to reach out. I don't think I've ever had anything break before, um, but that's okay. I mean, they did wrap it really well, so it just might, must have been them. So the mail service. So this is the next thing. And this is, oops, a utensil holder. And this is woven, I feel probably in Oaxaca, Mexico. Yes. Um, and the bowl was made in Morocco. So I, I was so excited about that bowl. I'm really sad that it is broken because I know that somebody put a lot of work into that. Um, but th I'm sure that they will work on sending me a replacement. Then, The next thing is a mortar and pestle. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like wood. Well, it is wood. 
really nice quality. I don't own a mortar and pestle, but I like to use different spices and things like that. So, oops, excited about that. Let's see, where is that from? That is from Indonesia. Cool. And then the last item, which is made in Palestine, or Palestinian territories, is this, which is just like a little like apron, but one that doesn't cover the top, just the bottom, and it has this cute detailing it there for the pocket. So I love that. I'm really sad that the bowl broke. So I'll reach out to customer service. I'll let you know how they are down in the um, description below. Um, I don't think I've had to reach out to their, their customer service before, so we'll see. I'm sure they'll be good. If not, I'll let you know. So then this is the mystery box. So let us see what is in here. Sorry about all the opening. Okay, so the first thing that I am pulling out is a, it's by Marquette, Let's see if it says where it's made from. These are tree friends. Okay, so this is an ornament, I guess for your Christmas tree, and there are these little owls. Oh, that is really cute. It's not super Christmassy, so I might actually hang that somewhere in my house. My sister will hate that, but it's okay. It's really cute. The next thing that I'm pulling out, I actually already own one of these, and this is one of their woven baskets, and this is one of the pink ones. That's fine. I actually have a, a like a pink flower in the one that I currently have, so I can use this one more for storage, but that's really pretty. I love those. Then we have a box. So this is elephant bracelet from Russia. So let's see what this looks like. Wow, that is a lot of packaging for a little bracelet. That'd be why one thing, they do package really good. So for things like the bowl, that's important, but I'm not so sure that this little tiny bracelet needed all of this wrapping. So this is what the bracelet looks like. Uh, it is on a, in a on a, an elastic band. These aren't really my types of bracelets, but I do think that this one is cute and more my taste than some of the others, so I'm okay with that. And then there is one more box in here from the mystery items. So let's see what it is. So what does this say? Block printed scarf by Tonley in Cambodia. Right, so this is what it looks like wrapped up. This scarf features original design hand printed on a recycled fabric cold wash hang dry. Okay. All right, well it's kind of sticking together. I guess from the paint. Okay, so this is, oops. Let me open it up for real. Oh my goodness, it's really sticking together with the paint there. It doesn't look like any of the paint is really damaged from that though. Um, so that's good. But that is what it looks like. And then on the other end of it, it has, it has a pattern as well. So it's like a pattern on either end. I actually think that's really pretty. I tend to not wear lightweight scarves like this because it does, we don't really have long falls or winter here. Um, but that's really pretty. So that is everything that I got in my globe in this month. I will keep you updated in the description below on whether they were good at replacing the bowl or not. I'm sure they will be because they seem like a really good company, but you just never know. So I will let you know my experience with their customer service down below. Like I said, if you're interested in subscribing to them, you can sign up with my link below for $30 off your first artisan box. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.